Jesus showed us how to be free from sin, yet so many people still suffer by it. Whether they indulge in sin or they have to constantly work to starve themselves from it, they're still a prisoner to it. Jesus taught us how to be completely free from the sin that binds us to this world. So why do so many people still sin or feel the need to suffer by starving themselves from it? It is because there is more to Jesus' teachings than you've been led to believe. Jesus did not die on the cross so that you could continue to sin. That would defeat his entire purpose for coming here. Everything that Jesus did while he walked on earth was done to show us the way out of the captivity of sin, as said in Luke 4.18. Constantly needing to starve yourself from sin is not freedom. That's a life of eternal suffering. That's your true hell on earth. Jesus told us that those born of God cannot continue to sin because God's seed resides in them. Needing to starve yourselves from common sins such as self-defense mechanisms, coping mechanisms and attachments and addictions is the opposite of what Jesus was teaching us. As an example, maybe you use passive aggression, withdrawal, lying, or arrogance to protect your ego. A more extreme example would be an emotional eater using food to cope. Freedom from sin, the freedom that Christ has shown us, is so much grander than that. Through proper baptism, the sin that is anchored deep in your heart is purified, allowing you to be able to overcome those and by taking mindful action in life. This is where true change occurs. This is how you truly, as Jesus says, free yourself from the captivity of sin. By saying this, Listen to these powerful words from our Messiah with a new perspective. Everyone who sins is breaking God's law, for all sin is contrary to the law of God. And you know that Jesus came here to take away our sins, and there is no sin in him. Anyone who continues to live in him will not sin, but anyone who keeps on sinning does not know him or understand who he is. But when people keep on sinning, it shows that they belong to the devil who's been sinning since the very beginning. But the Son of God came to destroy the works of the devil. Those who've been born into God's family do not make a practice of sinning because God's life is in them. So they can't keep on sinning because they are children of God. That's 1 John 3, 4 to 10. If you'd like to learn more about proper baptism and more about the mystery, please read the book in my bio. It's a free PDF and it will change your life. And click that follow button to be notified of future videos. I hope you have a wonderful day and God bless.